how to enable TPM for MSI motherboards in order to install Windows 11. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimal and in this guide video, I will show you the way to enable the TPM services 2.0 for MSI motherboards for installing Windows 11. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So first of all, currently I'm actually using it on my Windows 10 and I want to install Windows 11. But if I go ahead and click on this check now button you can see it says this pc doesn't currently meet windows 11 system requirements that is because you can see it says tpm 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this device so what we're going to do is we're going to simply enable tpm for our msi motherboard now in order to do that first of all you have to check whether or not the tpm service is actually disabled and if it can be enabled so in order to do that press the windows and r button on your keyboard and then you have to simply enter this command over here which is tpm.msc i will leave this command in the description so click on the ok button after you do that and you can see it says compatible tpm cannot be found which means that our tpm has been disabled now in order to enable this tpm service or this tpm thing again what we will do is we will click on the start button we'll go to settings and then we will go to update and security once we go to update and security you'll see all sorts of these kinds of options and what you have to do is you have to go to the one which is recovery on the left hand side and once you go to recovery just go to advanced startup and select restart now now we'll go ahead and restart our pc on the advanced system settings once you see the advanced startup option you'll see this kind of option now you have to go to the one which says troubleshoot as soon as you select troubleshoot go ahead and then select advanced options and once you select advanced options you'll see all these options you just have to go to the section which says uefi firmware settings so go to uefi firmware settings and then click on the restart button again now keep in mind that this is only for MSI motherboards so if you're using other motherboards and I would recommend you to search how to enable TPM 2.0 for your motherboard and so on but then this is for MSI motherboards now we'll go ahead and then restart our PC to see what it says us and basically when you go to the UEFI firmware settings you'll see this kind of interface by default you could see this kind of such as CPU, memory, storage, fan info and so on you'll see all sorts of confusing menus and so on so in order to enable TPM you can see on the top right it says advanced and it says F7 so you can press the f7 button on your keyboard or you can just click this advanced button which is at the top of the screen once you click on the advanced button you'll see all sorts of these options you can see motherboard settings over here on the left hand side which says settings so just go ahead and select the settings option once you select settings again you'll see all these settings over here just go to the one which says security so go ahead and select security and as you go to select security you can see trusted computing so go ahead and then select this option which says trusted computing over here once you select trusted computing you can see at the very top it's a security device support and you can see it is disabled so in order to disable security device support we'll click on it once and we'll select the option which says enable over here go ahead and select enable and now you can see security device support has been enabled and you'll also see this another option so select it and make sure this is also set to enable which means do not select the disable option now once you've done all of this we have basically enabled TP tpm now we just have to save the changes in order to save the changes and restart our pc just press the f10 button on your keyboard so go ahead and press the f10 button you can see it says the auto ask the confirmation security device to put disable to enable now we'll go ahead and click on the restart button now once we'll go ahead and then save the changes and restart it we're going to check whether or not we can install windows 11 on our pc or our motherboard so as you can see i have restarted my pc now i'll just go ahead and then input my password and then enter it as well once i do it now i will go ahead and then run the same check which i did earlier i'll open the pc health check application and now if i go ahead and show you i'll click on the check now button and now you'll basically see that this pc meets windows 11 requirements which means your tpm was disabled now we've enabled it now you could go ahead and then install windows 11 and this is how you can enable tpm 2.0 for msi motherboards we hope the video was really helpful if it did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down below thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video